This steam dray started off as a Mamad SW1 wagon uh, but without any bodywork. If you imagine this without the flatbed and with these panels over the front wheels as they are on a SW1 and without the burner and in extremely rusty condition um, that's more or less how I obtained it on eBay um, there was some debate about what I would do with this uh, rusty rolling chassis um, there were many suggestions some from myself some from other members of the forum um, but I finally uh, plumped for uh, a steam dray which I, I got inspiration from a photograph I had an old photograph um, which was very similar to this um, even to the design of the, uh, the front here um, I made the flatbed out of a piece of sheet steel with some brass edging round the, round the side, round the edges. Um, it's all glued together, uh, some locating parts on the bottom. Um, I tried soldering it but uh, it's almost impossible to get the whole of that lump of metal hot at the same time so bits were um, heating up at different rates and, I, and it was all warping so in the end I gave up on that and glued it with, uh, with Araldite and superglue. Um, the next step was to uh, remove the uh, front mud guards and to slightly re reshape them uh, and add them on the front here. Um, the, they were originally just that part but they looked a bit odd so I actually extended, the, a bit, uh, extended them a bit further down. I then added uh, some extra little bits of metalwork here for uh, just for appearances sake. Um, I added uh, some tyres, uh, brass wheel hubs and I made up a, a load from, oh, <laughs> that happens occasionally, from wooden barrels which I stained uh, and mounted on a, uh, not sure what that is, I think I said another bit of steel place like that one, so it, uh, it can be lifted on and off quite easily. Um, I had to supply uh, a burner and lift scuttle and, uh, the sign writing on the board there was actually done on the computer I'm not that good at sign writing <laughs> Okay, in order to steam this engine, you have to remove the flatbed to gain access to the burner and the overflow plug. Safety valve is in the usual place. Put any water in. I usually put a rag underneath the overflow plug to catch the overflow.
Central plug back in, Turn that up, check the safety valve, put that back in, Turn that up, there for the meths. usual procedure here, fill it up to the top and I've just put that mess back in the water bottle <laughs> oh well uh, pour the access the excess back into the mess bottle Light up the mess. And carefully insert it back into the firebox. And we'll oil her up. I stick steam oil into the cylinder. bit on the jockey wheel. Okay we have uh, a little bit of steam at the safety valve, also some smoke. Uh, that I think is some oil I spilt onto the uh, firebox. But, uh, See if we've got enough steam to run. Not quite, but nearly there. to get up to pressure for some reason. That's all right. We get in there. So that's a bit warm. So let's put her on the floor. Okay. Right, 
might help if I have a reverse and lever forward. We're not having much success here, are we? There we go. The reversing lever seems to be very critical in this positioning. 